This podcast provides a platform that will share many different points of views that should empower you, uplift you, make you want to go out and do right. When you hear the term still a man, say, yes, I am. Still a man. Yes, I am. Still a man. Yes, I am. Let's go. What's up, people? Welcome to another episode of the Still a Man podcast. Tonight's topic, golden showers and more. So let's just put this right out there. There is nothing that the Still a Man podcast and panel will not discuss. So we are basically pushing the envelope tonight. We are going to talk about something very provocative. Um. It's Golden seems, showers and chocolate powers. And, and, and it seems, <laughs> and it seems that what it, it seems that and the world fair. has has lost their mind. So I'm telling you right now, this is going to be a very yes, goddamn provocative piss on some fucking Wait, 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 wait. He's already getting started, happen. as you can see. Um, so this is going to be a very explicit conversation. So put the children to bed because this is not for the young people, for the for the babies. All right. So that being said, I'm going to pass it over to the uh, minister of conspiracy. Uh, G. Lacey is going to head up this conversation tonight. Um, have at it, G. Um, I'm thinking this is actually the perfect timing for this conversation anyways, because I don't know if all of you are f- familiar with the black calendar, the things that go wrong for the year for black people. At the mm-hmm. beginning of this year, I don't know if you guys are familiar with um, Carisha Please, the show. It's a um, podcast. She was talking mm-hmm. about golden showers and the topic went crazy for this year, so we're going to talk about the sexual exploitation of America tonight, basically. That's what this whole subject's about. Okay. So I'm going to give you the definition of golden showers. A golden shower, also known as piss play or water sports, is the slang of your, I don't know how to say that word, really, or erotic gratification associated with urine. More specifically, a golden shower refers to the act of peeing on another person for sexual pleasure. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just go ahead and roll my first clip for you guys to get familiar with the event that I was talking about that happened at the beginning of the shit. Okay. They tell me they got it on fucking YouTube, too. YouTube phone. Zoom meeting. Pick this one. Oh, Lord. <laughs> what is it? No. <laughs> I can't say it. You got to. It say take a shot if you like golden showers. I do. Golden showers, meaning when the guy pees on you, mm-hmm. pee on you everywhere. You like it? I just like it. You do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Freak of the week, huh? So you say take a shot. You not take. You say take a shot. Oh, we need yeah, a shot. I take a shot. I you like go to shower. I do. But it's like just... peeing on you. I don't know. It's just I don't know. It's just too. I'm gonna be honest. Hold on, one more thing. Ooh, okay. Yeah, why I pick this one? Uh, um. Participants left. Let, let, let the record show who, who were the participants in this video, just so we clear. Um, because was that Trina in Young Miami? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, go go on and describe um uh, that detail because you know let me just say this um before we go any further. So again, Trina didn't say she let somebody pee on she, she her. Didn't, Miami she, did. She didn't. But my point is, um, which is ironic because she's with P Diddy. Yes, and, and it, that and was again, the whole thing about the whole conversation. And again, P. Diddy it seems like Miami, Miami, 
Miami, not young Miami, but Miami, uh, what's his name? Charlemagne always says that Miami is where most of the craziest people in the world live. But it seems like that a uh, long, 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 long time ago, before um, uh, Kelly went to jail and the pandemic set in, people were a little bit more like uh, private about those type of things. They kept that type of information behind closed doors and they, they didn't really share what was going on in the bedroom. Not the women. Not the women. The, the, the men probably had conversations about what some freaky um, girls was doing with them, but the women were a little bit more tight-lipped about what they were doing in the bedroom. And then it happened. The accident set in and they started Nowadays. sharing everything with their, their friends Nowadays. and other girls. The goddamn fucking Paris Hilton and goddamn Kim Kardashian started this bullshit. And then everybody wanted to make money after they dumped two bras, did it? Kim You're Kardashian. talking about a sex tape. Yeah. So my question they did all is that, how they did all with... that shit too. Pissing on each other. She pissed in the motherfucker's mouth and all that shit. Mm-hmm. My so, question so, is how many of you would have to take the shot after Trina asked the question? You, you, uh, Uncle D, would you have took the shot? You would have let somebody pee on you? Um, no. I'm very I'm I'm a germaphobic when it comes to certain things like that. I don't even I don't even like people putting their hands in my face. I don't um drink after people, you know, unless it's the woman that I'm dealing with. I always taught my children not to drink after other people. So I, I, I'm not, I'm definitely not drinking no urine. I'm not doing all that. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. And then I don't think there any- That was a shot of urine or just a shot? It was a shot of urine. Oh, no, <laughs> hold on. They took a shot of liquor. They was playing a drinking game. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Oh, they they, they so, tried to do right, it like right, drink right, champ. I it's stand hard to do like drink I, I stand corrected. I'm jumping the gun because I know that that is something that, that people do. They um oh. they, they got a shot of piss and and they ask you questions and if you get it wrong, drinky drinky. Only people do that. that sounds like a warrior's drink. Um Manny Pacquiao. No, Shout out to Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao. Yeah. I wouldn't only even do that. No. That uh-uh. Wait, Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao. He's the only <laughs> motherfucker that drunk his own piss. Why? He ain't the only one. <laughs> oh, man. It's called the Warriors drink. They do it before they go in the battle. I thought that drinking your pee was toxic. No. no According to Dr. Sepp, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. how you, that's how you clear out a lot of germs in your body. <laughs> exactly. Your, your, exactly. Your own you're a different thing. I'm going but you know what? Right? Drinking your own piss and supposed to drinking somebody else's piss? Oh, yeah. fuck no. No, 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 no. That's a whole totally different thing. Yeah, exactly. So, Uncle T, would you, Uncle T, would you have to have to take this shot if they asked you that question? Would you let somebody give you a golden shot? My own piss? Yeah. Oh. Oh wow! No, somebody else's piss. No, you heard him right, oh, Patsy. He no. said he wanted a show in his own. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. No, no, I thought you were talking about a shot. Oh Lord, you oh, shot. a shot. I think I'm you had a few shots. You think that's okay? Mistake. You're talking about a shot of your own piece. You're amazing. Yeah. No, nah, I don't do golden showers, so I I wouldn't have took yeah, a shot. Yeah, I don't. That shit, I piss in the toilet. That's what the toilet for. Her. Any um, chick that wants somebody, any chick that want to do the piss on them, they they, they are getting uh uh some they getting off on this hot piss or this warm piss on them. It might feel like coming to them, but they it's just it. want to feel this wet piss on them. You know, they that just sounds so well. I just read the definition to you. It's like a fetish for them. So 
It's kind of crazy yep, that yep. people are into that nowadays. I'm going to jump um, right Sean, in here. Sean, um, how do you feel about that? Would you have to have took the shot? I'm, I have to say absolutely not, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> see, she, 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 see, Sean probably basically don't know what are you asking him. Because he probably didn't just say the shot of piss. No. Yes. It, that, it was a I'm drinking sorry. game. I they had to take the shot if they would let somebody give them a golden shower. Now you clear, so, Sean. Okay, so if I wanted to, I would have to take a mm. shot if I didn't want someone to do it. If you Meaning have that let you, would you drink you or you get a golden shower? Would you drink oh, the no, shower I'm, liquor or would you take the golden no, shower? It's like it's not, it's not, like, not what like, it was. Uh, it's like a true or false. It's like oh, it's yeah, like, it's a true or false. Like, it's like that. Have I have I ever game? Yeah, yeah. gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. 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 So, so basically, it's a so, drinking so, um, game. No, I, I wouldn't. Game. I wouldn't been able to answer the question. No, because taking a shot would mean that I didn't want to answer that question, because that means I did. That did happen to me. Oh, you want it to happen to you? Oh no, 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 no. Mm. All right, go on, y'all do it. On, That's on. exactly what the question was. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> so you take a shot of the, the answer is yes. You don't take a shot. No. Okay. Now I'm gonna answer it the way I heard it. Guys, <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to tell you, this is crazy. The, the the lady asked that other lady. She said, "She said, take a shot or take a golden shower." No, she didn't say no. that. She said, "Take a shot if you ever have been, a if you would let somebody shower. give you a golden shower, or you ever had a golden shower." And that's why that's why Miami elected to do so because she has allowed people to, to give her a golden shower. Yeah, I, I don't. Even, I, I got a lot to say about her stupid self, but I'm going to tell yeah, you like this. Did it. Yeah, her um, um, no, did it. That was that, that's all an illusion to cover he up everything it. else. But I'm gonna go yeah. into. I'm going to this. Um, golden showers. I think every woman or man that's doing it, and your children are home or not home, and they find out through a video or just by conversation, you need to put your kids up for adoption. Because this is what you're really doing. This is what you're doing. Go to showers. Piss to the piss to the eyes is a pink eye or a red eye irritation. Piss up in the nose gives you halitosa. Piss in your ears gives you inflammatory eardrums. Piss in your mouth leaves you with mouth sores, a fever, and a sore throat. What are you really doing? Piss on your skin. Sitting there for a while become irritating. So how could you really tell me you're enjoying a golden shower when everything sounds not pleasurable? It sounds like it's going to leave you with complications or problems. Yeah, but that... Piss on them in the shower. I that's agree with you. Piss on them in the shower. I just read, I just read something. Um, uh, NYU Surgeons, uh, is, I guess this is some type of medical page, but they said that it's not um bad for you. It's not unhealthy. They said they, that because your urine. Wait, wait, it's your urine. That's, right. that's what your I'm being clear. Let's be clear about that. Let me finish. That's what I'm referring to. Talking about drinking your own urine. And they yeah, say, but they're talking about pissing they, on each other. I, I get that. I get that. But they're saying that <laughs> small. If these people did, because I'm going back to what y'all said about. Manny Pacquiao drinking is the Warriors drink. They said in small dosage is okay because it's primarily uh water. Your urine is made up of water. I guess uh, unless you've been exposed to other toxins and stuff like that, then it will probably become more of an issue. But um, I don't think that. And I'm not a doctor. I, I don't know. Well, when, you know, if you all y'all want to look into the Warriors out. drink thing, y'all can look into it after the show because um, I really didn't include it into what I was talking about tonight. But that's actually a thing. People actually drink. I've done it. I've done strength. it. I've oh, done it. Jesus Christ! I've done it. How you doing? At, um, well, boxes, let me ask you the first question. Boxes, you tell the me, clip. tell me, tell me. Don't, don't even Listen leave that the, in the clip. The lady asked us. She 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 asked the other lady, um, take to to take a shot if you've um 
had somebody give you a golden shower or you would like somebody to give you a golden shower? Would you have took the shot? Did I get? Yeah, just don't beat around the bush. Would you allow someone to pee on you? Yeah, him? would you allow somebody to urinate on you? <laughs> nah, I mean, I pissed before on a chick. Picks before, you know what I'm saying? Plenty of times. Oh, you given you know a I mean? golden and, shower, but you won't receive one. Nah, I won't receive one, right? You know what I'm saying? And nah. um, and I've bless done you, bless you. and I and I've done the um drinking your own urine shit too when I used to ball. You know, <laughs> you nasty mother up You were amazing. Time. I'm telling y'all, getting plastic spoons, cups, everything. When you come to my mother's house for a dinner, some, some men, some men <laughs> accidentally, some men accidentally pee on women because they have a weak bladder. No, hey. no, no, no. There ain't nothing. I'm gonna ask everybody real quick. Duke, about... how you feel about this subject? Would you have took the shot? Would you let somebody urinate on you? Yeah, or in Ab's case, because we're gonna go into the next subject, would you urinate on somebody? No, just ask them both. Ask what yeah, you me. Yes. Yep. <clears throat> Absolutely not to the fifth power. Uh, ha have you urinated on someone? Absolutely not <laughs> to the fifth power. Have you been so, asked to urinate on somebody? Uh, people that I come encounter with, they know better. Oh, man. They know better. They know better. That's right. That's my sister. I know. See, I know my mama raised you right. Go on, Gregory. I'm gonna go ahead and stick the key in the ignition, and I'm gonna um get into this subject. Why is it cool nowadays for this to go on? And R. Kelly was ridiculed. Mm. Somebody give their opinion on how they feel about that. Anybody like to jump in? Yeah. Uh, okay. Because, <laughs> because before, that's what I was saying a long, long time ago before. Um, R. Kelly was prosecuted and he went to jail for these, these acts of perversion. Um, I think this was already taking place in some people's bedrooms and their relationships and stuff. But like wasn't that. those wasn't those individuals minors? Exactly. Oh, yeah, that, that's, 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 why got, that's why he got that's why he got that's why he got locked up. But so if you want to talk I'm about I'm not speaking about that, but I'm speaking of the aspect of it being disgusting. Actual, I, somebody I mean, you know, somebody well, it only became that. it only became disgusting to society because of the age the of the age girl. thing. Because right. yes. prior right. to that, yes. Golden Silas has been so you think it would have been cool if she wasn't the age she was. Well, you, um, you, see, you see young Miami bad. making it cool, saying, yeah, I was... That's what I'm... I, that, that's the whole you know, part of the so, sexual exploitation part of America. Cause it, it's you know, the, it's, it's the on the age. It's on she's your saying age. that she likes golden showers, so now you got a little... Yeah, but that's... Like that's, 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 that's why that they want to try to get her, people her, on. Her, why that's her prerogative, like though. Why That's her prerogative. But she has here's a bank the account thing. behind it. But it's mm -hmm. dangerous. <clears throat> she has a bank account behind her golden showers. So right. it's that person that's given yeah. her the showers, you know? So mm -hmm. anything that's coming with that bank account, I'm sure she probably, I, I don't doing, know. I'm not even going to no, no, put no story on her name, but she probably signed a contract or something where Where's she's and it's entitled to that. I don't know, but whatever. Sean, you um, 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 uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. Um, once the door open, I, I, I'm not trying to offend um their community, but once the door open, which some people might say crazy and weird, um, there's always going to be someone coming out to do the most freakiest wear this crazy shit right now to get recognized, to get paid. Um, mm -hmm. Young Miami, I don't care how much money they're paying her. All her business deals is flopping right now. Her, her millions of dollars she was getting for Puff is a, a end deal. What is she really making right now off of Golden Showers? Because they probably don't even want to do business with her right now because she is affiliated with P. Diddy. And I nothing mean, good's coming out of that. Well, how much is he paying her? He ain't paying her nothing no more. Sean, you was gonna try to make light of that. I mean, make some sense of it. Fez after him. Fez after me. I got to go. 
Can't pay you no more. Listen, you don't even know all that came out yesterday. Sean, you still here? No, no, I'm no, I'm I'm good. I I was gonna be I was uh was gonna revert back to when Gregory asked the question about why was it a ridiculed when R. Kelly was accused of whatever and now it seems like it's acceptable. And it wasn't that he was ridiculed for that. Everything was associated with the ages of these individuals. So anything that he did was going to be ridiculed based off of the fact that the ages of these young these young girls that he was accused of, you know, molesting, messing with, messing with there you go. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think that was his goddaughter. You, you let, let's be clear about this. R. Kelly, <laughs> R. Kelly and, and a lot of other uh, men of wealth, and, and for that matter, a lot of men in general. And, yeah. and some women, this is so is it actually um wrong if this yeah. is what this woman is asking for? Because this is this is condoned. She wants this man to do this to her. I think something's that's wrong a great question. With your, with your yeah, yeah. I think something's yeah, wrong. But but you know, you let I, me tell you what it, it is. I, I wouldn't be surprised if the powers that be, because they say they be having some freaky deaky parties, you uh, know, the big the big billionaires, the big, you know, well, don't worry, and whatnot. Uncle T, we so 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 that. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of them in there pissing on each other and shit. Tell me, they I'm, ain't I'm, even I'll this. go this route. <clears throat> We're going to get into that. We got a whole I'll, segment about that part at the end. I'll go this route. I'm, I'm going to do the politically correct thing to where what we're calling freaky and nasty and this and that and the other, what makes what we like any more sanitary or whatever than what everybody else is doing? Because everyone has their vices. Mm-hmm. Hey, Sean. You know, hey, Sean. You, you, yes, sir. You know what? That makes so much sense, man. You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. to you? This The world is bigger than the United States of America. First of all, you got to go with culture. Pissing on motherfuckers. They've been doing that shit since Mesopotamia, Egypt, Thank and you. especially go Greece. Thank you, Ap. Hold on. The girl mm-hmm. that I pissed on and how I sighed off, she got stung by a jellyfish. She asked me to pee on her motherfucking yep. back. Why did you, yep, you yep, ask me that? Yep. Right there. I'm going to take it to the next mm-hmm. one. A chick asked me to shit on her before. If I had the heart, I would have cocked my ass over. Hold on. We're going to get there. I just didn't have, we are I didn't, I just there. Didn't have the heart. You know what I mean? Now, 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 when it comes to stuff like this, it's this word that we call taboo. Mm-hmm. Those who do, those who don't. Each his own. You dig what I'm saying? But it's all go. about high enough frequency for them to get... Uh, uh, accomplishment goals, finance, whatever, whatever, and that sometimes when it comes to in and out, just not good enough. This is why you got transgender. This is why you got homosexual. When you get to that certain plateau, if you're not strong-minded enough, you might get into an addiction that you never knew that you had inside of you because you are a human being. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, I, I will not do that. I will not do that. Yeah, I, you don't know That's how it. human beings get yeah. down. Because when human beings get down, I promise you, you don't really have a choice on doing things. You can do everything upside and down if you had to because for the simple fact that there's no choice. Because we live in the United States, oh, we can talk that. I wouldn't do that. I can't do that disgusting. He's crazy. It's, it's in history. It's in history before we were ever thought of. So it's still in there. It's just in you. You just haven't experienced it or haven't even tried it. But it's in you. For real. Never, because ne- on never say never. Actually coming from Greek philosophy. And they was looking at it a different way. And then people started looking at it different as it's time started going on. So it's kind of crazy they think it's where it's coming from. Because they were going to do Zeus. Zeus giving you know, type yeah. of, you said, um, you said conception. You said a lot, app, but the more the, the only thing that stuck out was that word <laughs> choice. Choice. We have decisions mm-hmm. to be made. We have choices mm-hmm. to whoa, make. Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, listen, choices. listen, let me tell you something. So if someone right. came to me and this is my choice, you're gonna probably choose different. I don't know. But if they say I want to scat on you, I tell them you out your fucking mind. They ain't gonna never yeah, get a chance. You. Hold on, we're I'm not gonna do to, that yo, to listen, an individual. We're gonna get to that part. Y'all are jumping. Yes, ahead. but I'm letting them know. So you, when you say never, say never. 
we don't know what we're gonna do to we're in that predicament. I know there's 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 boundaries, there's cut off points, cap right there. Exactly. Straight so, up. You know how oh, you was talking care. about Who's doing it. Stuff, right? I ain't doing it. You know what you know about Sodom and Gomorrah, right? Of course. Yeah. So yeah, this is basic. This episode, we just talking about the sexual exploitation of America right now. So basically, the things that's going on when you see an artist like Young Miami and your daughter might listen to Young Miami saying, "Hey, I like to get peed on," and then you're saying, "Hey, this stuff." Nah, 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 nah. Hold on, hold on, but okay. your daughters will listen. Let, but let him finish. Let him finish. Your Let daughter's watching it. Then you tell her all oh, the Jews that you're giving her. People been doing this since da, 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 da. It's okay for your daughter to get peed on by this man. Remember, remember that word. You won't you know till you try it. That was it. That was a question. Okay. All right. Here we go. First of all, you gotta know how to raise your child. I'm not oh, I'm one of those dudes that the world influenced my kids. I raised my children. So the way I raised my children, I raised my children the way how their mother's made and how I'm made. I don't raise my children with the world. So whatever the world do come to my children with some bullshit, drugs, the sex, I give them what I give them. And because I know they're part of me and their mother, I know they're going to listen if I give them the right advice. Now, if I don't give them the right advice and I'm half-assed in my raising, then I got the world helping me raising. Then, of course, you got that. But if you come to raise your child, no. You know what I'm saying? So it's all depending on how you raise your child. You know what I mean? So that scenario I'll to me is kind of weird. Because you don't need to expose her to those type of things. No. But, I, I, so I can't nah, she's going to be exposed. It's going to the world. She's exactly. going to be exposed to a lot of things in the world. You don't need to agree to. No, 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 no. I, I don't uh, activities, different activities. Let me say. The program she's in. You know, it's, 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 it's going to be exposed. Let me say this. So I, I, I with sounds like what Elijah's saying. To simplify it is, he's just basically saying, "Do as I say, not as I do." So what, 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 what I may have been, um, what I may have been exposed to or taken part in, it's, it's not necessary for you. And that's why I said before, children shouldn't be present when you have adult discussions. Children shouldn't be exposed to adult um things before they are mature enough to be um, engaging with, with the doubts. That's the problem. But today's world, these children are subjected to anything, everything before they are mentally, emotionally, physically ready to do any of these things. So like with G saying about with young Miami, she's an influencer. So she yeah. has influence yeah. um, a, a, a bunch of um uh, young girls because they want to be like her. And, and, and Dave, that's, that's how the, Dave, Dave, that, Dave. That's how the sex Dave. trafficking started. That's Dave. how that sex trafficking Dave. get going too. Dave. And, and and no, to me, that's not how sex traffic can start. Dave, it's yeah, all the influence same. Can, it's, influence can, it, the, the influence that's not that they're doing, the way. ones that that's doing that. Doing that doing hold on, right. Auntie, let him finish Jimmy, his that's statement. That's not how it started, man. So what I'm saying is this. That goes right back to raising. We don't know who raised my young Miami. It all goes back to raising your child. If you raise your child, boy or girl, you can show your child what time is when it comes to the world's activities, when it comes upon them. But you got to raise your child. And I'm a firm believer. If you raise your child, your child, well, of course, they're going to be proposed to it, but they won't go through it because you raise them accordingly the way how you want to raise them. So, uh, so when it comes to when I hear this movie stars influence children, to me, I look at the parents. If anybody can influence your child that's on television, on the music, to me, it's kind of like, you know what I mean? That's, that's all you're raising. Can't blame nobody because that's your child. It came out of your nuts. That came out of your stomach. So when it comes to influencing, you the one who got the words. You the one got the vibration. You the one who got the chemistry. Tell that child what time it is. Are they going to stray a little bit? Of course, but they'll snap back. You know what I mean? That's just my I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm, uh, let me get now, the ladies okay. back into this before we get into the next subject. The last though. thing I want to I say wanna, to E, go ahead, I just want to respond to that. You got to remember there's that word choice. Your children were raised by you for so many years in your household. Once they break the cord, move out on their own in their 20s and 30s and 40s and 50s, they're doing what the hell they want to do. Yeah, you it don't work that them. way, Robert. Listen, it don't listen, work e. that way, Robert. Listen, listen, e. let me explain to you. Right, it don't yeah, work that way, kid. Answer this. Answer this. How could two godly given humans 
raise their kid all the way up to do nothing wrong, just live a righteous life. No drugs, no alcohol, no sex. Soon as little Paterita or Mula gets out the home, they go over here, look, 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 and they ain't never taught them that. Okay, here we go. First of all, right, if a person ever raised their child like that, then they don't know the real world. Because that's not raising. That's a fantasy imagination you want to put on your child that you never have had. That's number one. Number two, that's when it comes to your household, how the way... When it comes to your household and how your culture is your household, that's when the child's going to turn out, whatever your culture household is. So if you got a mommy and daddy there, you're going to raise your children. If you got your aunts and uncles there, they love you enough, they're going to raise you the best that they can. Of course, things in, in life is going to happen to you. Probably become an alcoholic, probably become a drug addict, or even, become, even becoming a hoe. But at the, it don't start to the casket drop. At the end of the day, they're going to know how to fight. They're going to know what time is we equality. And when I say choice, I'm talking about choice in the United States of America. I ain't talking about choice all over the world because people in Nigeria and people in Congo, those girls, they don't have no choice. So only talking about choice in the United States. Mm, and mm. because they don't have no choice, that means yeah. your choice that you have in the United States is an illusion. And that's why I say that what I say or how I speak the way I speak, because the world's bigger yeah, than just the choice. United States. Coach is just way bigger to let you know that your body can really go. If you listen to these people in the five world, the real world, the five continents over there and see the stuff and the atrocity their body goes through, people in China, people in Africa, some people in Europe, and see the body they go through, people in, 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 in Africa got to eat cakes but the cakes is made out of um 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 dirt, dirt. and you talking about sexuality getting peed on or getting doodle on or dog whatever their body has to go through to survive they will do that kid and just in america we do choices let play me play. say this to you let me say you got this to you guys just for the sake of discussion um so we stay in the realm of uh of the, the discussion so in, in this situation, when Gregory's made it clear in the beginning, this is the sexual exploitation of America. We're not talking Listen, about this is just what one subject goes subject. on abroad. But what I want to be clear about is, ladies, it's like one, two, three of you guys, Tanya, Patsy, and um, Josie, whatever ladies is on this platform right Auntie now. Auntie Maria's on here yeah. too. All right, so I'm yeah. going to say this to these ladies. This don't don't allow these men to monopolize this no, conversation. No, I got a question for them, Uncle D. I got All a right, question. I'm just, I'm just saying because we're talking about things that women are doing so too. This is just strictly sure for the ladies. To say. Tonya, they already you told you how they felt about my enemy. Well, if the uh, if the guys would be quiet, we'll be able to hear the question. Would you exactly. pee on your mate if you uh, if he asked you to pee on him? Would I pee on him if he asked me to? Yeah. Would you let him? No, pee on my you? mate wouldn't ask me to pee on him. Would you pee on Puffy <laughs> if he asked you to pee on him? No. Oh my Jesus Christ! I would Shoot. Not pee on, I I, would okay, not. let me let me make it a little bit more interesting. Would yes. you pee on a guy if he was paying you about twenty thousand? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, listen, I don't want it. You got five seconds to tell the truth. While I'm you don't tell me how much you want. Exactly. How you gonna be like that, Robin? Money makes the world. I'm telling you, if they take it too long to answer, if they take it too long to answer, they contemplate and all. Would they or would they not? Let her answer the question. I answer it real quick. Thank you. Let me hush your mouth for a fun minute. Go ahead, T. What is that saying? Um, be slow to, you know, the oh, no. foolish answer quick, the wise take their time and answer. No, no, no. No, no, no. You can't tell her. Don't be, don't be doing that, Robert. Shoot. David. Go ahead, Patsy. Answer the question. Hell to the no. You ain't pissing on me. You ain't shitting on me. I don't give a who. No, Nothing, Pat, I you, wouldn't do that. Would you, would you let? Would you do would it you to your mate? On the guy no, I would not old. because I wouldn't want them to do it to me. Hoo -hoo. So I thought the question was: Would you pee on a guy for twenty thousand dollars? Yes. No, no, I switched it. Would you pee on a guy for twenty thousand dollars if he offering it to you? If you and want me to pee on him, pee 
I want my 20 thou and I want my 20 thou and the fact that you're asking me this I might have to concentrate in order to piss on you that's why I laughed about trying to damn hesitate to pee on you for twenty thousand dollars, and there is someone like who just want a girl to literally to pee on them, and that's it. They don't want to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't yeah. Stop right there. Don't get that bad. Yeah, stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. So they are clear. You are both of them say that they'll do it. They'll pee on them for twenty thousand dollars, but would yeah. you allow that same man, Timmy? Wait and listen to the question before you say yeah. Would you allow that man to the answer is no. for twenty thousand dollars? No. See? No. See? What's the wrong? No. What's wrong with talk, it? Babe. What's wrong with it? Because I'm not into that. That's what you're into. That's your preference. Right. I don't but want they did it for the money. But you're gonna they take it for money. the money. You're gonna take his money to, to do it to him though, right? That's because that's what that's he, what he That's not what I'm into. I All said. right, long as you clear. And let me just say, for if a girl is squirting, most of you guys got peed uh, on. It thank you, Maria. I was hey, to listen, I was going to ask you. We're going to do it right. You ain't hit it right. And your girl down, trinkle, trinkle on, on you. Like this, but if she's squirting on you, she yes, that's for that's no, for no, uh, no, that's no, for Dave, no, that's for no, all no, of the no, men no, on no, here. No, the no, one no, that said a female ain't no, never somebody no, else is no. having that conversation don't early. Put, don't put Dave, that, don't put Dave in that category because David has been very all right. Let's ask the question now. How do you guys feel about that, guys? How do you I'm feel about tell you right now, on you? you can't you can't put me in that lineup, you can't label, you can't put me in that pigeonhole because I've been very candid. I told you. Um, there's certain things that, that I do in the bedroom, like I said, it ain't for the faint that heart. So it's like when you go in the bedroom, you going in there, you, you preparing to go to war, you go in there to take business. If you half assing it, ah, you ain't got dang. no business being there in the first place. But go back to that part about you talking about girls squirting. Robbie, when you said trinkle trinkle, ain't no such thing as trinkle trinkle when the girl Because this is what happened. When a, when a exactly. girl he said, he said, he said, never had number girl. one thing. It's not no, it's number not one no thing trinkle. That, it's listen, not no this trinkle. is the number one thing I was hearing from almost a lot of women that when you boom, 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 boom and they like, they get into that high intense squirt moment but they're telling you real quick, oh no, 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 no I don't really want to do something women, I might pee. That's dumb about to release that's everything false. all that's at false. once. That's false. That's false. That's false. I was about to say, I don't that, think no, it's the same me. thing, a girl, girl. a girl do not know when she's going to squirt, dog. I've done it many times uh, with females. That's they a lie. Um, that when that happens, that's hold on. Hold on. Right right there, We're ladies. totally different in the bedroom. Hold on. When my specialty is back shot. So when you do back shots, right, and it's about to kick off, you dig what I'm saying to you? Of course, it's going to hit your thighs and all that. Yeah, you're going to get it. ain't purposely peed on, but you're going to, you're definitely going to feel Listen, it. Listen, a girl can squirt yeah, on I don't know. Right. Oh, on. A girl I've never can squirt from girl laying on her back. A girl can like squirt me. from any That's position. Disgusting. It's how you know how to make it happen. But I'm saying, though, that's what I'm talking about for me. My style is the back awesome. style. So yeah, when awesome. it happens, when it happens, it happens on the sense of, as if she's about to nut. You dig what I'm saying to but it just squirts out. For me, she never says, oh, I'm about to squirt. Nah, I never well, well, like I done dealt with them all and told me that sometimes shit. Well, let me tell you. Fluid from the urethra yeah. during yeah. intense sexual excitement or during mm -hmm. orgasm. This, mm -hmm. this fluid is very similar to the fluid produced by the prostate gland in men. Thank you. It isn't urine. It's it ain't burn. urine, but they it's, feel like they both the piss. Burn. It said it isn't urine. Urine. They both never, that. It we never said it was urine. Pee. Oh, yes, you did. 
No, yes, I said trinkle, trinkle. It is sperm. The person I was saying, and we have more chunky sperm. Listen, that's what's going on. I bet there ain't none of y'all are here. None of the men are here. Fuck the shit out of somebody where they literally shit it. Gregory, you got a lot of videos. You got a lot of videos. Get to another video. I'm not talking about in the ass ass. You're talking about now. What's going on in Miami? I ain't in the Duke shoot, dog. Nah, you know what I mean? Nah, I never bumped a girl so much. Are you a part of the EABG gang? I don't know what that is. Please tell me. Me let, me, let me explain to you what it is. It's the eat a booty gang. Are you down with the eat a booty gang? Oh, Lord Jesus. Uh, it all depends. All depends. So, well, so you're basically it's saying situational for him. You're That's basically you saying you eat the musk muffin. All depends. I feel you, hmm. Abbott. It's situational. Gregory, y'all yeah, all, all I'm gonna tell you, you go check for the H the H A G P T. The what? What? <laughs> what is that? What is that? H A G P T. The hack. I mean, come what? on, we use an acronym. Let's 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 what what does it mean? You know, the same thing you get on your fingernails, you getting it on your tongue. What? Hepa um um. <laughs> Um, Uncle D, are you down with the Eat a Booty Gang? Um, again, like I said, this is just for the men right now because I'm gonna um, play the men. Part. Eat, eat the Booty Gang, like I said, that that's something that uh Trick Daddy has made uh glorified and popularized me, whatever. Now it's a uh, it's a uh, that guy that. Oh Lord it, Jesus Christ! It's it's being spotlighted, but I think that most men, if they be honest, if you ever um gave a girl uh you know oral sex, there may be a time where you have um licked there. It's depending you, on what position can I that woman's laying. Because I think he said David. I yeah, can't wait did. to answer it. Yeah, you can't force nobody and rush nobody. Y'all some nasty he said you beat the brown of but, but that's that's you, what you that's like you what I told you. If you're not, you if you're eat not comfortable, you're not, if you're not comfortable with this conversation, then you should depart. But like I like I'm saying, every man strictly for grown man, folks, man. Strictly for grown folks. Every right. Strictly for people that's looking for HIV. HIV. That, you boy, you that got this. Like, I'm, I'm gonna finish and I'm gonna pass it on to the next dude. Um, so like I said, if, if men are being honest about it, if you've um given a girl um oral sex, there's chances are if where you're doing it, with how you're doing it, you have your tongue has touched her um her her booty. But um if you're if I think with with how uh what's his name trick daddy is referring he's talking about putting your tongue all up in the anal cavity and doing oh, stuff and like that's all you can't say i can't say i'm a part of those um those those uh uh yeah. actions i haven't yeah, i haven't yeah. partaken it by accident yeah. heard no, I ain't saying yeah. by accident. I, I said I said Trick Daddy's talking about getting all up in the anal cavity. He's doing it with purpose. Yes. I ain't never, I ain't never yeah. did that. Yeah. But um, there's other men. Go to the next dude. Go to Sean. Oh, you want to hear Sean's answer? Huh? <laughs> hey, Sean, how you feel about that? <laughs> yeah, put Sean. Sean, hey. he'll put you on the on the on the chalkboard. On the hey, house. I, I'm all right. Um. <laughs> to each his own, for me to answer Gregory's question, no. To speak to what David said, and I'm being very honest, I, that that slip up has never happened for me. I understand it. Yeah. Well, yeah, he, he's been now honest. for me, for me, for and, me. And, mm -hmm. Let Sean finish, Timmy. Go ahead. I'm done. I'm done, sir. I'm done. Go ahead, Timmy. Down for me. Timmy, your answer the needs to be as short as Sean's. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's going to be a banger. You better believe oh, it. Jesus. Okay. The tongue, the tongue is for the cootie 
And the D is for the booty, goddamn it. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, no. Wow, no. Wow, wow, <laughs> crazy. Go, go ahead, Elijah. Oh, wait, who didn't answer? Elijah. Oh, no, Elijah. He answered. Elijah. He no, answered he already. No, he didn't. Oh. I'm still okay, going to answer again. Oh, he already yes, said yes. He was the first person. Excuse me. I know. Thank you, E. I'm still in that, Timmy. Right, Sean. Right, Sean. Go ahead, Robin. Um, I'm going to tell you right now yeah, there's no slip ups, there's no accidents. You're doing it because your girl needs you to do it. Or you feel you're lacking something, so you're trying to give her another side of pleasure because obviously you was. Doubt they can just yourself. answer the question. Stop putting everybody. You heard what I count, said. Man. Don't I'm answering my nigga. way. Yes or no, man. You do you do it or not? Don't so worry about what the next nigga do. That's why you had to do that tongue do, smacking do you in the backside. Are or... you part Bobby, of the you are avoiding the question. Yes, yes, I just yes. told you. I never had a lick of girl's ass. Listen to me carefully. Clapping. I never well, had to do that. I never had to do that. That wasn't the question. You you. Keep trying to change it into something else. It I told you, I'm a part of that to. booty licking game. I didn't have to lick no girl's ass. They want to so lick you're not, mine. you're not a member of the EB. You're not a member of the Eat a Booty Gang. Then that's that's what it is. That's your, that's the simple answer. You make yes it seem enough. like the people had to do it. I tell you, you don't have to do that dirty shit. You, so I want to in the know bedroom why holding people's said. balls. How you know what they doing? I want to know why exactly. you said that girl. You, your girl needed you to do that, or I said because obviously there was something you wasn't doing at the time that she said, "Well, let me just see how this feel." It's no, it's no just happening. Wait a minute, Gregory. Gregory, you're not doing on the hook. You got to answer the question too. I think guys just eat the ass. Because they're trying to whip them in a different way because they're lacking in the other way. No, that no, is, is a so lie, brother. True. You still all you to learn. listen, listen, listen. Keep getting the eight, keep licking it. That's your decision. When you wake up and you can't say good morning, it's your fault. You should have said good night before you took that last bite. Any anyway, who is saying anybody's eating nasty ass? Right. Exactly. This is disgusting. Like, like, you gotta answer I mean, the question, Gregory. B, hey, B, you only been with five females, huh? Long relationships? Yeah. <laughs> Who are you talking five to, females? E? He I, said I'm you. talking to you. <laughs> what did you ask Hello. me? What did well, you I mean, ask? What I'm, Mr. Joe, listen. It's circumstantial. What I was like saying is said, this, though. In certain circumstances. What I was saying is this. What I'm saying is this, everything is taboo, especially when it comes to the United States of America. There's transgenders, there's homosexuals. All right, I'm not talking to this. And, guy. hold on, and, and check it, and we're grown, kid. If you don't, you don't. If you do, you do. I feel like I'm talking to an 18-year-old. Right. Right. You know, you know, you know, you can't put that you on the couch, kid. You, you 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 your your preference is you your preference. That's the way I'm going to skip my first clip. I'm going to go into the second clip. How do you yes, ladies please. feel about... Please. Wait, he got to answer the question. You No, how do oh. you ladies feel no, about... No, no, no. She's saying you, Gregory... You didn't answer. You got the answer. You got Gregory try told you at the beginning he licked booty. No, I uh, listen. You <laughs> told him just like the Brick Dave said. Sometimes it, it happens. Happen. I hear great. See, let Robin, me say, yeah, let, me, let me, can I say this to you guys? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep putting a disclaimer on what I said. When you go oh back and God. watch this video, when you go back and watch this video, you'll hear what I said clearly. But just in case oh, you creep wax out your ears, I said, any man that wants to be honest, when you down there, there are times where your tongue may touch that booty hole, depending You're on how you excuses. lick it. I did not say nothing. I'm not making no excuses. I told you why I'm grown. I do what I do. I don't make excuses. I ain't, I ain't having sex with you. I don't care if you like it or not. You open up that clam eye and almost got bit. Um, you don't know what hey, I'm listen, doing. Listen, listen, let me get you to under my lady. bed. Unless I think somebody. How do y'all feel about the females? Just say. How do y'all feel about the females joining the E? Listen, Tanya. Tanya, let me explain to you carefully. If you heard me answer the question, oh I said it's something I wouldn't do, but I have 
bitches do it to me. Hey, oh my god! Wait, wait, wait a minute. This is the question, ladies. Why do they so how do y'all feel about Uncle Rose? Yeah, um, so I'm going to tell you when I first ever heard a guy tell us, you know, in a setting that another a chick licked his ass, I looked at him sideways. That's right. all. That's all. A lot of people are gonna look at it, like, but you, you can't like help you when a female to get licked. You should that's might. She to do. That's what she wanted to do. That's what she wanted to do. I'm about to break it down to him. She grown. God damn it! If I'm she about to break it do down. That, that chick is. That chick do. is. She's giving you knowledge, and then she just start licking your whole lick fucking ball. Let me get some control. She's just playing clean. I got you after. How do y'all feel about being a part of the game? He's got a lot of dollars from getting his ass He's a taker. He's not a giver. You're right, Tanya. You're a taker, not a giver. Absolutely not. It's no accident for me. It's a absolutely not. Now, now, Maria, can I say this? No, like no, said, no. This, this is how Dave would have said it. No. Why get down there? Hold on. No, I'm you ain't going to say. Back on her. Hold on. Dave said, hold on, hold on down Gregory. there. You're not going to say Dave said No, no, Dave. Let's just be good. She's down <laughs> there. She's he giving he head. Said, She's licking he on the nuts and everything. And the nuts are a little bit by the booty. Her tongue this is right. for the women. I got you. You can say it. He's talking about the women now. He's talking about the women. He ain't talking about what I do. You don't got to be in it on their conversation. Let exactly. them Exactly. You're trying to answer for everybody. Go ahead, Frederick. Ask the women. How do y'all feel about women being a part of the eat a boot again? Patsy. How do I feel about women being a part of what? Eat a booty game. Five seconds. That means eating a man's ass. Would you eat a booty? I would not eat nobody's booty. <laughs> Especially <laughs> if they ain't clean either. No, yes, and getting in that shower before we do anything. See, all right. Now, you see, she told you. Her she's, preference is right out the shower. She said she ain't doing it, period. <laughs> Move on to the next she one. She said she ain't doing it, Exactly. I ain't doing it, period. But even at this, your ass said, will be fucking clean when you come on. She said she ain't doing it, period. She said she ain't doing it, period. Go ahead, uh, Tonya. Oh, Tonya. Oh, Go ahead, Tonya. How do you feel about eating a booty, booty gang? <laughs> Would I eat a booty? Five seconds. I'm not... Listen, I'm not paying no you attention. If that's what my husband would ask me to do, absolutely. Okay, all right. Thank you. She answered. Let's move on to the next. Dukes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely not. Not. It's a no for me. It's a hard no. It's a hard no. Uh, would you yuck. cough like you were smoking a cigarette for the first time? Mm -mm. Hey, can, can I ask you, can I say something, Gregory? That's how I stayed married for 30 years. Gregory, can I say something? Oh, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Lord. Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Gregory. Oh, no <laughs> way to clip that went viral. Wait, 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 Gregory. Wait, wait. You did not stay married from eating booty, Tonya. No, you did no, not. No, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Let me tell no, you. you I, listen, Josie, leave her alone. No, listen, yeah, listen, true. listen. I want to be clear about something with Rob has said. He gonna talk about some there's no such thing as an accident. I want to be clear about this. When it comes oh, to a man God. getting his booty eaten, you are absolutely Uncle right. D, it's right. okay, no, man. Wait, I want to be clear. Alone. I want to be clear about this. That's not accidental. That that man is allowing that to happen. That's different. From a man doing it to a woman. That we man, didn't say that. I didn't say that. You I did said too. she could say it was a slip of a tongue when she that was wasn't on no, his That wasn't no. Hey, let, let me put on his nuts. You can't explain that to me. You can't explain that to me. Yeah. No. Show, they taking over. He take, he's thing. a taker, not a giver. <laughs> taker, <laughs> not a giver. I'm trying to get my coochie stretched and eat a nigga ass. Eat a nigga ass. We be eating niggas ass. That ain't that money. Period. I'm trying to get this coochie stretched. Okay. Now, now, you say that? You say that's so key with, that's the, good so key with the good coochie. Now, now, yeah. let's now how many of you fellas is running around getting your, your ass ate?
I think I already answered that question. I said absolutely not. There is not. There's not no way you can talk me into it. Nah. Well, it's, she was clear that she was getting it for the money because she said she's trying to get this coochie stretch and this and eat some ass. Got to get that money. But then she went and got her <laughs> shit. Well, no, but wait, and then you hear, oh, then you hear her che her cheerleader, her personal cheerleader said, "Period." And I think that's how all this mess be happening because y'all be hanging with the wrong crowds and they be telling you about what they've been doing and then they get you a couple of drinks and blunts and you decide wow. you want to become a member of the A the Booty Game. No, fellas, this is a real question. What is going on? How has this become a trend and been okay for you guys? This is what I'm saying. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't nothing new. That it, shit ain't nothing new. It's nothing new for sure. So it's Timmy, been you gotta around be, for centuries. But you gotta be clear about this. You saying it ain't nothing new. He just said to you, how they, they, this became listen, something that listen, you Dave, 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 Dave. Well, Uncle T, I'm just gonna, like, I'm just like, now. okay. Man, this is just like, new. Just, this is just, not. No, it's not nothing new. It's just like okay. Playboy, right? Playboy came out with their shit, right? And Playboy was really explicit, but then they they doctored it up to make it look like it's soft, it's soft porn, right? So what what's happening now is that so, hold on, Uncle T, because this isn't porn. This is this lady making music. They so my talking question, porn, my shit, question, Gregory. They talking for y'all was talking about, shit about the music. That, that, Do you that, think this that, is good music for the youth to listen to, Uncle T? Well, y'all said that Nikki was a uh, was one of the greatest rappers, and that's all she talked about is sucking and fucking. Um, exactly. No, no, so that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm, they, I'm they, specific they about it, this one record like, is about eating dudes' butts. Listen, um, yeah, um, because they they want to make it. Hey. You can turn a nigga out. Do you think this is good music? That. For Uncle that's, that's, that's what they think. That's what they narrative. They, they out there it to be okay. Do you think it's okay? No, it ain't no. okay. Like whatever they doing in their world is their world. Whatever I'm doing in my world, that shit don't even affect my world. Yeah, Patrick, I'm not like, following kids to be listening to the lyrics, right, Pat? And, and folks are doing out there. As long as I know what I'm doing and what I'm about, I'm like, shoot, nothing all that BS and ain't, ain't even affecting my life. Y'all do what you do, and I'm going to do what I do. Mm. That's when me. When you say children, what age are you talking about? So Suki Hana is appealing to the youth, so that means 13 to 21. Oh, damn. That's too young. These are the kids that are listening to this music. And that's then their some parents are You want to switch? And oh, that's oh, oh, his oh. ass. Nah, that's, that's their parents. The parents. It's the parents. It's the parents. Hold on. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. It's called it's um, having parental, parental control. She got an advisory oh, sticker. She got a goddamn advisory sticker on her and shit. Just, so, just because you got a binary sticker don't mean you should let your child listen to it. Oh, no, oh, no, no, oh, exactly. Oh, check, it. check it. Hello? Can I say something? Uh -huh. Go ahead. All right. It's entertainment. Timmy was right. It's soft porn on whatever you want to call it. On, 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 on wax or lyrics. on video. You know what I mean? On lyrics. But it's soft porn. No it's soft still porn. part of entertainment. Talking? Oh my gosh, Dave! Let hey, me hey, hey, it's hey, soft hey. porn because you ain't. It's hey. soft porn, Dave, because you're not seeing her doing no it. No penetration. What makes it soft porn. You ain't know. You ain't seen her doing it. If you saw her doing it, it's not soft porn. You didn't see, the see what they doing. All cool. Yeah, the video. Oh, you ain't see. You just hearing information about what she do. Bomb. You just hearing information. So that's she, that's she, the entertainment. This is. Hold on to me. That that's the oh, entertainment. Yeah. That's the entertainment we live in the United States of America. We uh, get kind of uh, confused. Mm. So let me finish, kid. We get kind of confused on our entertainment. Come to our morals in our household. Those are two different worlds, kid. So we can't expect a person who's doing the entertainment part to help raise our kids or to educate our kids. This is the country that whatever 
your country you live in. You know what I mean? So when you she do her thing, and I hear her, shoot, shout out to her, salute to her. She's doing her thing, but that's the country she comes from. That's that culture. You dig? So if, if the culture is, it's all about me bragging about how I eat the booty or how I suck well, the swallow from- and I get this bag, that's the culture. It's America. Well, that's the Miami culture then. But what I'm saying is, though, that's entertainment. That's not morals. That's not, uh, are you making uh, but, uh, nah, an impact on your community, is, is all that okay? stuff. That's none of that. My question is, is it okay for you to be driving in the car and then that song comes on and your daughter's in the back singing that? No. No, this we're talking so- different. We're talking, we're talking individuals more. Morality, kid, ain't about raising. First of all, no normal, no normal person, male, female, black or white, together, not together, is gonna allow, say, a nine-year-old singing some song which she's talking about. Yet, yeah, don't get it twisted. She already probably know about that song because that's the culture, country that she lives in. Yet, yeah, if anything, be prepared to explain to her how you are, how the way you raise her, on how what time it is on one two one two. But when that's still entertainment and you live it in a country that is a freedom of speech so if you're going to blend that on yo that's not good for the kids what about the kids yo dog that always comes back to your community and your household that had nothing to do with entertainment um so let me so i'll say this right it might be entertainment but who are they entertaining they're entertaining the young people so again they are influencers so if you got this individual doing this let's be clear about it Suki's just not saying it on records. She got what is a fans only, your only fans page where she is showing videos and stuff like this. And then later on, when she feel like they're exploiting her, now she's she's crying about it because people won't let her live it down now. She's trying to change, but there's videos out there with her doing it. So the same That's uh, her personal the, date. The, 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 right? the bad That's her personal. The bad. Let me speak real quick. Oh, you let know, let speak definitely dominating this god darn platform okay so i'm still a man still a man let go okay let's go she is only one person and really she doesn't for her i really don't even look at her like that for any of the entertainers they are not responsible for what your children grow up in exactly and, and act like or be like mm-hmm. I'm going to mm-hmm. speak I think it was Cardi B mm-hmm. she said she's not responsible for all of that no in my, the parents are. In my era it was Charles Barkley Charles Barkley said I am not so, a role model so, so, so to piggyback off of what Elijah said yes definitely it's about what you're teaching them in your household I'm not going to put on, um, let's say, NWA, and they're like, fuck the police. Fuck, fuck, fuck the police. You're not going to ride in my car with me as my child and be like, you know what I mean? We're going to sing it, but if the police is next to us, you're not going to roll down the window and blast the mute. That's not what we're doing. Bro, no. I might have said that to them a couple of times. I, You're not doing it with me. Right. Rolling down the window, acting you, like you're you following because you have and I don't think it's because I heard that song either. Let me finish. You you have that have of civilization within you, and you're installing that within your child. So that's what I'm piggybacking off of Elijah, where he's saying, "Yeah, it's about what you're doing in your household." You know, we're not walking around trying to make it seem like what these rappers are saying or these singers are saying is what you're supposed to be doing. Uh huh. Never said that. So why you think? Why you think? Coming Trina, out in the community. Why? Let me finish, Timmy. If your child is coming out in the community and they are, uh, you know, acting as they don't have no right mind, then no yeah, home training. It is about it's, it is about what you taught them at home. I'm going to hope when I'm not around, my son's not walking around acting like he's pissing on somebody. He's singing or doing things that's going to cause himself harm because that's your reputation. And it definitely goes about what I, it, it, it connects me with you. And I don't like that. 
You know what I mean? So I'm just saying it is about your your upbringing and what's going on in your household. So yeah. that's why that's why I said what I um I don't want anybody to get this uh, misunderstand what I'm saying. Her representation Down. is influencing the other young. The youngins. She's not, she's not the only one. I mean, you got these individuals. This is the stuff that their children listen to. These are the people they watch all day long, reality TV and stuff like this is, this is as Elijah would say, this is a part of the culture. But And I'm going to tell you this right now, a whole bunch of but, girls. But you, you have the okay. baddest girls, my trainer. They're okay with eating groceries. They're yes, okay yes, with... You yes. had the baddest this, this bitch that trainer talk about, about all this, all the shit that damn, all these, all these young chicks Come underneath the uh, little Kim, Foxy, and Trina. They all done did their style. Every last one of them. All the chicks that's under them. That's not true. They to all me, doing I their to style. Those ladies' music, and I'm not. You know what I mean? It wasn't about but, that. But but what I'm saying, they all. Hey, don't. Use Forget you know, you know, that, that type of sell, sell sex shit to, to sell records. That's all. Some of them, they indulge, but most of them, it's all about to sell records. It, it, it ain't really about, you know, what they really say, because a lot of them are not like what they say on record. And, and, that's, and that's exactly right. Because even Fat Joe came out a couple of days ago. He said 99% of his stuff and his music, he lied all the time. Yeah, I saw that. But we're talking about the individuals. No, we don't have to worry about what we're talking about. I'm we're just talking making about reference. the individuals that's been very vocal about it. Why are you They've being been vocal, vocal about it. They've been in the cameras. They've been crying about... <laughs> It's all about the no, it's like you said, Uncle D. These people are influencers, and this is about the sexual exploitation of America. So, when you're talking about these people saying these things and your kids listening, even though you're saying that, oh, it's about the parenting, and they're not this stuff is everywhere, they're influencers, it's all over the internet, it's on your radio. Your your kids are gonna get a hold of it. Regardless if you're in the household saying, Hey, I don't want you listening to that song when they go to school. Listen, listen to for you and get more can I for finish you what I'm saying? Um, against them about this. This is what you teach. This stuff is often happening in, listen, in America. She teach ballet. She teaches this ballet. Not, this is only happening in America, listen to right? what I'm saying to you. She teaches ballet, and it's a whole bunch of little kids. And listen, she tries to play the ballet music for the kids, and she's crying out to the parents because their kids are three and four years old, and they're going to this ballet school. And they're asking the, the teacher to play Pound Town and songs like what we're talking about right now. That I'm eating his ass. They want to hear this stuff. These kids. But they're Gregory, young. But but Greg, that's what Greg. I was saying about parent, <laughs> parent control. You have the control, especially at that, and, uh, that young of an age where you, your child is being exposed three, four, five, under, any, any age underneath 10 or 12. You you have the control what's being listened to by your That's children why they by came what up with parental guidance. House. So Gregory, you have to go to twelve hours out the day, or they're going to school. That's why they came up with parental guidance program exactly. with a whole bunch of other kids that are like minded, and they're listening to this stuff. So the stuff that you're saying is good. But in all actuality, we are all indoctrinated into this way of life. The influence comes from the music that we listen to. Hip hop is our culture, uh, as as, as a mind. But, but, but Gregory, this is Gregory, true. Gregory, 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 right? And you're, you're like in the borderline of Generation Z to Alpha. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little scared here. You sound a little Marxism here. So what we should do? Censor these people? They did. That's what parental guidance is. I'm telling you to look out for it. That's what they did. They censored them. kids about this stuff from wrong and right, a moral compass. So you shouldn't be feeling any type of way about what I'm saying to you because I'm touching on the subject. Yeah, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Touch on. Oh, hold on, Gregory. I hear you. Gregory, listen, let me let me tell you something, right? Um, Let me explain about the greatest 
country that you live in and call the United States of America. When it comes to China, you can do something wrong and your credit's messed up. You can't buy stuff. When it comes to Russia, don't you dare talk about that government or your family's going to get killed. When it comes to your careers, North Korea, South Korea, North Korea, don't you dare talk about how you don't like the style that's going on. We ain't going to talk about the 52 to 53 countries else over there in the United States. We ain't going to talk about the monarch where they think moms who just died and the kick is the way how you should live. When it comes to this beautiful thing called democracy, when it comes to that democracy, this is the culture we live in. But if you compare to the all over the world, yes. we're just trying to eat the way they made us. We, 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 didn't, we didn't make this way. It's been like this. So we eat and survive and live in the way how it's been before we was born, while we're born, and after we go. So it ain't yeah, going to be enough, like that for long. It's the same. I mean, if you, you, know, if you got a belief system, But if right. we keep it's doing that, man. that's what I'm telling you. They're breaking the moral compass. If we keep just doing what we the know. Moral we're compass, not gonna, let, let me get right. into the next oh, subject. Man. I'm going to ask you Okay. So the my question is, hold on, hold on, hold on, great, great. Hold on, great. Before you go on that, right? You got drag. Uh, they call it drag queens or transgenders Queen, yeah. in the Bronx reading, yeah. you know, books for the kids. Hold on, I'm not done. And then you have, you know, what I'm saying to you, men who thinking that they're females battling with the females. They call us sister mm -hmm. kids. I'm not mm -hmm. done. Then you have two men who saying, you know what, we can raise a child, even though we're two Caucasians, we can raise an African American child that. better than the parents. Well, I'm mm -hmm. not saying this mm -hmm. is the culture. This is the market. This is no, now, but Marcus this is the point of this. This is the point of this topic. It's the sexual exploitation of America. For them to make all of that stuff okay, it's about sex. Everything's about sex. It can't be about sex. Everything can't be about sex. Um, give them some why, why, why are give you having drag, drag kings come and to queens place? been about sex? Um, why are you talking about gay men been about sex? Why are we talking yeah, about and insects yes, about it sex? Is. God damn it. Yes, it about is. About civilization. The civilization you gotta on. understand. It's, Dude, and it's hold, crazy. Hold on, hold, hold on. The civilization you only got three hundred and three hundred thousand Americans here in the United States. In um Nigeria you got like about a good two million. We ain't gonna even talk about China. So when it comes to do your your existence is really is to eat, to be a slave or make money, and to have children so they can eat and be a slave and make money. It's called reproduction in a civilization. Now, how it go about pumping it? Because we're in modern culture, it will be um, um, exploring all your, 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 your libido or your um, stimuli. As long as you can get that nut off and go to work the next day, that's all we care about. And please, produce a child. That's all I'm saying, man. So my next like trend, that. listen, listen, the next trend that, that is big right now that these kids are doing, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about spit lovers? Okay, hold on. Oh. Before you go to that, before you go to that clip first. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you show that clip, Gregory, let me unplug that book. Did you hear what I said? He heard you. So, yes, sir. Before we go any forward, guys, let me um uh this is this is the gift season, so let me give a gift um to someone else. So there's this uh artist, uh I should say author, her name is Dr. Uh Safako, I believe it is, and she has written a book, it's called Um I Am Able. She is an adjunct speaker. Basically, she's a lecturer at the uh, Vermont University, and she's put out a book. So I have posted the link for her book launch on Saturday. It's going to be from 3 o'clock to 5 p.m. So all you guys got to do is go on my Facebook page, click on the link, register, so you can be a part of her, um, her book launch. You know, we should support our own, you know, buy from our own, and I believe in doing that. And, and I'll put it in a group chat after the end of this. Yeah, and, and, and guys, make sure also, while I'm plugging that, make sure, sure you guys go into emporiumplus.org and take advantage of the sale that's going on right now, holiday sale. It's gonna, it was from November, I mean, excuse me, it's from Thanksgiving until uh, New Year's. So it's buy one, get the second item, um, 50% off, 
So give you an example. If you buy a sweatshirt, you have to buy a the second home? sweatshirt in order, Which one? in order the, to get the, the, the uh, 50 percent off. Oh. All right. That being said, Gregory, please proceed. The ones with the thing on it. What's the name you? of the Shoot book? Your phone. Yeah. I am able to do it. You got a dollar. <sighs> Show that. On the bus. Timmy. Where the hell is it going? The word. Oh. Steven. Steven. That's the stuff. Get out the boy, grab your head. What's up with the boy? 15 minutes. Oh, they need a dollar. Uh, Timmy, can you mute your phone, please? No, I have a dollar. Oh, but you're going to need to get it home. Mute hey, your phone. Pete. We can hear everything you're saying, big dog. Y'all gotta y'all gotta pull it together. Y'all really like spiraling out of uh, control. Um, Gregory. Um, would y'all like me to show the video again one more time? Uh, I seen it. I think they get the gist. Y'all seen it. So this is basically a trend that's popular right now. And if you're listening to music, once again, this is all in your music. I don't know if you know Lady London and Dream Doll. A lot of Females have put this in their music right now. They want men to spit in their mouth. And then you just seen it's a trend in the club. So it's happening in public. How do you guys feel about that? I think a lot of this stuff, people just want to be seen and known. Yeah, I don't it's really all the attention grab. I feel like really want are into this stuff forever. Like once yeah, you get attention. That people are holding up that image that you put out there. At Sukiana, as an example, now she don't want people to look at her no more for eating shit, eating ass and all that, but you already put exactly. it out. Exactly. That's what I was exactly. saying earlier. So some of the stuff that people be doing, they just want attention. Like that. Exactly. What concert was, oh, it was um Kevin, the one with who sang, I got two phones. He spit in that girl's mouth on stage and she was pregnant. Like, what in your right mind let some stranger spit in your mouth while you're pregnant? Or just yeah. to spit in your mouth, period. Right? They, That's they, right. Even look at my meat spit in my mouth. That's nasty. I don't care how much French kids are we doing. You you hold your spit. Because kids are watching the like damn fair factors and shit. Spit you know? is already dripping in your mouth from you, um, you, open kissing anyway. You know, it's the frat parties. Frat parties. Everybody like in the motherfucking car. You smoking each other. Get something in the fucking drink. Right. And to be spitting in each other's mouth, that's just totally... They, but what happened was, nasty. years ago, I was watching pornos, and I know they all watch that uh, same genre of pornos, and they watch them Spanish people that just, I'm not trying to talk. Hey, don't blame me on the Spanish people. Uh, excuse me, this is my opinion. Called, it was my that's opinion, his, my opinion. I'm not trying to talk to the Spanish or the whites. What? I'm going to say again, my opinion. The Spanish people, what I watched on my pornos was opening up girls' mouths, spitting, cocking up Louis, and spitting yeah. all over their face, too. Mm -hmm. And then the whites started doing it on the pole. And, and and then all they're doing is degrading the women, yeah, bringing the characters down to zero. Yeah. Did, you don't give a shit about yourself did, as a I woman or as a young lady. You let a motherfucker spit on you or piss on you. Did you don't give a fuck about your goddamn self. Um, Here, stick I, to the spit right now. Can I ask you a we already did the. Can, can I? Can I? Did anybody else hear in that video where the guy was just screaming demon stuff? That's what he was saying, right? She's a demon. That's what he said. That's said, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I told right. you, so, 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 so I, I want to make sure. I, yeah. I just want to make sure I wasn't the only one. Um. In her. No, not that you ain't. We all. Hey, heard Dave. That Dave, let me ask you a question, right, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Look it up, right? <laughs> what she do, right? On on chick spitting, you know what I'm saying to you in her mouth and stuff. Yeah, we know it's nasty, and some people might say it's the great, the greatest. But that's their culture, style, and everyday. Sure. That's just it's their culture. It's yeah, America. She's a deep. She said she's a she's a demon lord, dog. I right, so what she likes to get it in like that. It. That's yes, the dog. Yes, it's yes. not just black people. Yeah, open your mind, kid. Let me step inside, dog. Really read something bigger. It's more. It ain't just black. Listen, black people's the last ones to do all this stuff. Let's be real. We're doing We're it like now in the club. So regardless, what we're the last, and the reason two things. And old girl said it right. One is attention. Because as you see, we need attention like a honey mm-hmm. going north. And the other one's mm-hmm. for a bag. Nigga, we in poverty. So when it comes to because us doing these Because they're watching candy, the other, you gotta other rem- cultures. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You got to understand how we've been programmed. We're, we're different type of people here in the United States when it comes to our sexuality. We was made to breed. We was made to be slaves for 400 years. So when you see the side effects in the land that we're in, in the times that we in, this is the culture thing. Hopefully this too shall pass, but yes, it is getting worse. But you got to think about it, though. We've been so messed up. Black people got to get our shit together. We've been so messed up for breeding. We don't even know how to breed, kid. We breed off of what we feel. I like her. I love her. I'm going to have a baby by him or her. And then five years later, we don't want them no more than the next dude going to have to raise that child or the next woman going to have to play mommy. So when it comes to our doing our expression, which it is messed up, it is messed up if you want to go morals. But don't get it twisted. Us black people in the United States of America is the last to doing stuff like this. I mean, the last. All right, but my point no, so in other words, they're followers. So my, but my point is... It's not we animals. No, we've been programmed. We've been programmed. programmed. We've been programmed. All I was trying animals, to do the dinosaurs what the guys were saying in the video to let you guys know that 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 doesn't have no positive in it at all. He's screaming out demon stuff and, and letting you know there's there's not no good message behind that. That's all I'm saying. That's the thing, Uncle D. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no. Y'all like y'all but, but, but um, listen, you um, away from the point. It's the sexual exploitation no, 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 of America. But, but, and the young generation are the ones that. that are subject they to it. Exactly. They're they getting do away that from that SNL and making it seem like boys. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they do that shit in SNL. So we're not talking in each other's mouth. We're not. That I'm talking about. You talking about the spitting in the mouth? They do that in in the sexual sex um SNL. But the they, guy, they, they the guy, got uh, ropes or uh, handcuffs and chains and leather. You know they do all that uh, that that erotic. Check it out. Now, say, why would any of that stuff be right? Even as you oh, as a melanated out, person, knowing that they tied your people up, why would you even be? Hold cool? on, hold on. I, I, you guys, y'all are taking this in another way. Held in bond. And I want to hear from the ladies because you know, like y'all have been quiet, and, and again, y'all allowing the men to They can't believe we talking about some shit like this. No, they can't name. believe that you're not giving them a chance to speak, Patsy. How exactly. you feel about that? That's a situation? goddamn lie. Oh. Whoa, 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 Dave, hold on, Dave. Oh, no, 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 no. Let the ladies if they want to jump in, they can to... jump in, Dave. It no, let like the ladies get a chance to, to answer. If they because... want to jump in, they jump in. Ain't no let. If they want to jump in, they jump it's in. Listen, the whole like point that. of the the whole point of that video with the spit was about kids being into it and you seeing it. It's a trend in the club. This is what people are doing in the club as young a, a young generation. Well, I ain't going to no damn club and that shit ain't with me. And I'll be damn if like I'm gonna let somebody spit on me. You know, if you spit end up in your mouth. We getting our freaky D on, I'm gonna question your ass, be like, what the fuck you spitting on my ass for? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even open my mouth for nobody to spit on my mouth. Sure. But can I ask how how are we supposed to jump in when the commentator can't even get his point across without being cut off? Exactly. Exactly. Um, but uh, y'all, you guys can feel free to answer the question. That's what I was <laughs> asking about. The, the whole spit lover thing. How do you guys feel about that being a demographic for the young people? It's disgusting. 
Uh, they're just trying to pass on more disrespect. That's what it seems like. Timmy, that Timmy, person Timmy. has no respect Timmy, for themselves. You spoke. You spoke enough. Gregory, you guys hey. see more videos? I was about to say I'm gonna get into the next subject. So you guys was talking about it all night, and um, the whole weirdest thing that you guys have ever. What's the weirdest thing you've ever done? Somebody like to jump in there first. You talking about? Uh, um, we can talk about anything weird. Sexual. Yeah. yeah. No, sex wise, or just anything. Yeah. Sexually said. Oh, I don't know. The weirdest thing I've yes. done let is the, the Let the pay. women answer first, big dog. Let the women answer oh, first. You didn't say it. Didn't say it. Say let the women answer first. You just asked the question, kid. My fault. No problem. Uh, call a name, Gregory. Right. There you What's go. The question? You that is stepping. What is the strangest what? thing you've ever done sexually? you ever done. What's strange? <laughs> What's the weirdest sexual thing you think you anything, ever done? Anything that you have call sex that food. Food. But that's a good that's one, you... and that's a good one because that's what she said. When I was first, listen, say that again and, and, and let them having sex outside. Hmm. Oh, okay, go ahead, having, having sex in the in the uh, what is that up in Franklin Park at the gorilla? Uh, no, let the girl no, five answer. seconds. No, go on, Joe, she... and Patsy. I can't wait to get here. <laughs> go well, on. Got my There's ass a couple things. Um, what? Sex in a park, and then this job I had. Um, and I'm not talking about mortgages. But I I used to work at um I don't name a grocery it. store and I had sex in the freezer. Oh, <laughs> oh <shit. laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. The meat was cold. So okay, mine yeah. would be mine would be in a warehouse on the top <laughs> of a stack of mattress. In a mattress warehouse on the top of the mattresses. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Mm, mm, like he mm. had to climb the mattresses. Mm. Yeah, oh. they were like, how did you break your hip? I fell off a step. <laughs> oh, boutique. <laughs> what? The weirdest thing Say you what? ever done sexually, Uncle T. If you did a cow, let us know. Oh, wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I did a lot of shit in my lifetime. No, sexually. Oh, I was in the hot tub, and is the people strange? that the people that was I don't in think that's them, weird, OT. What? It's weird to him. Oh. Let him answer. It was people there. Oh, no, 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 no. That ain't the weird thing. I'm like Maria, outside type shit. I like the jungle. Wow. Woo, 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 shit. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Who's next? Sean? Um, geez. <laughs> it was weird. Uh, weirdest place. There is no weird place. Wherever I feel lit to, to pull this thing out and do what it do, that's what it's going to do. That's right. Um, but to answer the question, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I had actually forgiveness for this. This was wrong. It was back in 2002. At the record show, 2002. <laughs> <laughs> I won't I won't name the house, but he didn't strike me down. Thank God for the grace. Listen, grace and mercy, my God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I 
said, I'm going say back on mute. Don't say five Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. I'm done. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, who's that? He just called out. No, he didn't. Yes, yes, I did. I said, Yes, he did. Dave. I didn't hear it. You talking? Well, I'm gonna say the I, I, I repeated it right after. Him. Aside from doing it in the movie theater bathroom, is stepping on a girl's head, and even she was kind of confused at the. And I think it's because I was watching porn, and I got it from the porn channel. Oh, God damn. <laughs> she let me do it while we was doing it, but then after she was like, "Did you step on my head?" Don't ever do that shit again in your life. Oh, it was crazy. Yeah. See, you should have got that damn poster. It was suede. It was made out of suede. It had every sex position on the motherfucking damn. But the signs. Damn. The the zodiacs, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. um, but have, I got to say. The whole, they're glow in the dark. I yep. gotta say, you did were, ask the question question or was it my turn? It's your turn. Oh, okay, so EC's no fortunately no longer here with us. No, nah, I'm here. I'm just listening. Why? Why? What's your strangest thing, E? My strangest, um. None of them have been really strange. It's just been adventures. You know what yeah. I'm saying? See, I can't say strange. I really can't. They've been very adventurous. I'm adventurous too. Man. I mean, I got an open mind. Very adventurous, especially when it comes to that party. I, I would have to say, um, anything I outside the bedroom that is strange. I had some heads um, in a Catholic church after my uncle got <laughs> married. Oh, God damn. The closet room at the top of the hub, Jet Blue, that little tiny ass I was trying to do the 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 mile high, it wasn't working. That made me frustrated. I had some, I had some, I had some beautiful adventures, man. I just put it like that. Oh, okay, I'm gonna tell you too. um, graduation at BC. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, but go ahead, y'all. Go. No, I'm gonna tell you two. One, I just think that it was just out the blue, so I had a surprise birthday party. And it was a house full of people, and I ended up fucking in the bathroom while it was yeah. a house full of people. Yeah. So, but there was uh, a lot of people having sex that day. Some in the garage, yeah. some in the back in the hall, garage, yeah. some in the yeah. bathroom. So yeah, that was, was the freaky day. And yeah, then my deep. my other um things was you know how you hike the Blue Hills Trail and go all the way to that castle. Oh yeah, the the I don't know, yeah, spot. Had sex had sex up there, and I didn't think nobody was up at the top. So right before we get to the top, we started, you know, doing our one-two on the steps, and here comes some white people. White people started coming down the stairs from the top of the castle. (laughs) I couldn't stop laughing. You've been caught. It was no big deal. I mean, like, they never seen pornos before. Yeah. But they don't want to see that while they're hiking. Or no, hey, listen, I didn't think nobody was up there. You should need to go up there and check either. Sometimes, Timmy, when you're in the moment, so I'm gonna you get into I the, already it, know. I already know. This clip before the, I'm going to get into this clip before the last clip. This is some weird stuff. This is the weirdest stuff i ever seen somebody said they did. Yeah. They're lying. Most likely, if you're not saying this is lies. Over here, you need it. At her husband, uh bunch into ice cube trays and then she peed into some ice cube trays and then they froze those and they shoved the pee in ice cubes into my and he like fucked me until they like melted and then she had to slurp them up out of my and swallow them? Yep. Oh my god! You did that? Yeah. Someone ordered that? Yep. That's mm-hmm. very generous. <laughs> Why are you making that? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Is it the pee part? I pictured yellow p- and then... I would do it again. Would you... Would you f- my ice cubes out of my... At her... What? Yeah. She's a porno song. 
Yeah. Now, can you something, Gregory? What did what did she say? She 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 put what did, what was the ice cubes? What frozen pears? Frozen pears, Robbie. And then the couple put that in there and be okay. Do her and then eat it out of her. Yeah. He he he. She put it inside her twat. Yeah. Yep, and then the wife drunk it. But is that tolerable to put an ice cube in there for that long period listen, of time? For listen, they got this thing now that the women is for sex. They give them eggs and they let them put eggs in and make them feel like they're pregnant while they're having sex and then they poop it out or um push it out their vaginas. Yeah, I'm talking about that frozen ice cubes. Cool. I don't know. Dumb down there. Yeah, this is some this is some new stuff. I mean So you're trying to tell me you never um used popsicles and all that stuff, stuff. ice cubes. That's and all of that. I think you're missing the point. The 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 the, the level. It was urine. Yes, that's the part we where... know that, but Sean's still saying ice is too cold for down there. I guess he was saying No, I'm asking. Is like like she said oh, put a nice God. cube until it melted. Oh John, Sean. No, Sean. On the inside? Oh no! I don't have ice cubes in my mouth, man. Oh, the tongue was a this... work of art. It was <laughs> you had like a I'm saying, you had, urine, you I'm had asking. ice cubes in your mouth. <laughs> no, no. So he's talking about ice cubes. Ice. Is what you're saying? I'm talking about ice cubes. So he's Basically, yeah, is ice. what I heard. No, 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 no. Right. No, <laughs> what I'm asking the ladies. An ice cube can go in there and, and until it melts. Yeah, that's, that's, that's why that's I mentioned that. So it the woman got to be really. Um, it got to be at. Pink. It got to be at. Joseph, that's why stage. I mentioned it because Sean said what he said about the ice. You know, that's why I. That's why I, that's why I, that's I, why I mentioned that. Inside, not, not yes. Right we all done the ice cube in the mouth. Did that? We all did that. Yeah, I'm yeah, but you never said. You that. never took a popsicle and push it up inside the the the, the, the and, and, and you know <laughs> this freaky shit. You know I don't understand what y'all was doing, but I can't. Say. <laughs> you didn't mention that when we just asked you the wildest stuff. I'm telling. I was telling from the beginning. I said ice or popsicles. You never played with it down there. Push it up and then twist around, suck on it, put it back in there. Do you know? You, you know, I don't understand it. You know, rub it around the clip. Nah, that, but that, you know that. what I could see doing that as opposed to mm. an ice cube it, that's from it. a piss. I would right. never do right. that. I'm sorry. Right. I never heard of that shit. Again. Yeah, that, Uncle Rob, that, I think I passed on the pussy pop. You ain't, you ain't too, once you taste it, you're going to be eating them every day of your life. Oh, they have shit. oils and stuff like that, you know. Go to a sex party. I'm sorry, Josie. Um, did I just hear Mister? I don't do this and I don't do that. Um, advertise a a, a, a coochie pop. Yes, you right? did. Yeah. Yes, you did. And he told you Mr. where you bougie can move it and use it. Mister, Mister, I don't, Mister, I don't eat coochie. Yeah, he don't eat. Mister, I don't eat coochie. Yeah, he don't eat, he he but you he said, I said on, the vagina. On, 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 on. No, he I never said that I don't eat coochie. coochie. I said that. I said. I said I didn't eat the booty. So oh. if you want to know something, um, it's a hot, messy situation. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> well, you are hot mess anyway. I, 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 he didn't get a hot messy situation. I'll tell you this one yeah. thing. Yeah. I <laughs> Forget the ice cubes. I have put um some double gum in my mouth, two sticks. Oh, and I went down there to, to you know, do the one, two. Oh, that, that, I'm going cool. to But that, the, that the, cool the double mint gum, listen what happened. Yeah. I couldn't that find mint. gum no more. So we was looking for the gum. You know what happened to the gum? It melted. Yeah. It was all in her hairs when it dried up. When it got oh, cold, you the did. gum was crazy. Crazy. Oh, so we, we were you talking about to do that with juice. that fucking crash damn Charlie. You should have had some motherfucking line. We were talking about food. Yeah, food. yeah, yeah but you asked me. I thought you didn't eat vagina. And I told you that was the case. 
the, the vagina thing is a very intimate, personal thing. So I started rushing it out. I don't eat nothing. All right, all guys. I'm going to play my Birthdays. last clip. This is the last clip. I, I don't eat nothing so, unless the most is the wildest is mold. That's you going on that in America right now. Damn crash down. Yeah, we it's can't probably hard party. for a lot of people to believe because this is what these girls are doing for money. Yeah, yeah. Because they got politicians, judge, damn He's lawyers, talking. prosecutors, DA, police Okay, officers. let me show the video. Okay, Tani. It has been going on for so many years and I'm surprised it's actually come up again because it's no news. This is where um, some men who or some women who find sexual pleasure in coprophilia or paraphilia, which means that they enjoy pooing in another person's mouth or pee in another person's mouth. And that's their sexual pleasure or sexual fetish or so. Our girls are actually fleeing their countries and going to these porta parties, um, parties. I call it a party because it's they get flown in first class. Their payments, half of their payments, is paid to them, and when they get there, they conclude everything. When they are coming back, the rest of their payment is paid to them. I know this because a girl came out a few years ago and did a tell all about that kind of lifestyle that she's indulged in for a while and she no longer wants to be part of it. What it is is that when these girls get flown into the country, they spend a few days on a yacht, a very expensive yacht with very powerful people and rich people who indulge in this, in this sexual um, fantasy. This and this these this three days weekend or a few days trip will include these men um you know um getting into all type of sexual activities including pooing in the girl's mouth and peeing in the girl's mouth. And um these girls are paying getting paid from about twenty thousand plus dollars for that um period um of time that they are there, a few days that they are there on that yacht. I remember when I spoke about this on social media, I had girls actually coming into my inbox to say they are really interested and they want to go and get paid this money so that people can poo and pee in their mouth. So trust me, girls have been doing this since 19 Kujohoho. I say each on your own. If that's something that you like doing, absolutely. It's you an adult and you, you can choose what goes into your mouth and out of your mouth. <laughs> but if... <laughs> If you don't enjoy this and you're literally going there to eat people's poo for that money, I think I'll stick to my shift work and selling wigs. Thank you very much. But on a serious note, it's really sad that girls feel they need to go through this to actually live this kind of luxury lifestyle that they really want to live instead of earning it in an honest living in a way. But I guess that's also honest living in their own way. It's not just girls coming from Africa, from some poor country trying to make money or no. Some of these girls are coming from the UK, the US and other Western countries who are doing very well, who, where, where they can actually get a good job and earn good money. But that's the kind of lifestyle they choose. So never be envious of any luxurious lifestyle woman or girl you see on Instagram because you might not know. They might be eating mm. poo. Mm. <laughs> So now did you cover places outside America or was all those places in America they were talking about? America too. So no, no, no. Just me, answer that question. Um, listen, she, she listen. No, no, no. Just America. please try to get an answer, a simple answer. She was those places she outside America, America in America or just America? She had mentioned America. All right. So for all listen, the people that just keep saying America, this America, 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 America. America. So um, listen, person with Gregory I'm and EC, America, America, you, America, 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 America. I didn't want to play too many videos. So the girl that was just talking is talking about a girl that put out her contract from a person in Dubai. She she put out the contract, and the contract was basically for her to fly into Dubai for twenty thousand before she gets there, and then she gets twenty thousand after she let the guy shit and piss in her mouth, basically. And this was all in her contract. So that's what the girl was mentioning. It's a contract that went viral on Facebook. So what's the question? All right, check it out. Check this out. Check this out. She's right. That's been going on for a long time, kid. And a lot of Instagram chicks goes over there and get that done. You know what I'm saying to you? 
Now, mm-hmm. it started off with the, the Cambodian money. chick in the Philippines. Hold on. It started out with the Cambodian, the Cambodian chicks, the Philipp- Filipino chicks, as well as the Brazilian chicks, as well as the Dominican. I mean, what are we talking about here? Kid, this been going on for years. It's just being exploded, or shall I like to say. It's just coming up to the forefront. I mean, I'm, well, I'm talking to squares here. I mean, this is this is what's been going on. Right. If you don't think women hasn't been like this since BC, dog, the pharaohs had mad females, kid. The kings say y'all reach Bible. You know what time it is. One girl slept with her own daddy. The other girls, two girls slept with their daddy because they thought there was no other men. I mean, are we serious right now? Not this is the type of world that this no is why men. the father promised the son. Regardless what, it's still in. Regardless what, it's still in the system. It's still I in mean, when you're it's saying, are blush. you talking to squares right now? And did you, you, you're asking a question about the young, and listen, these are influencers. Like I've been saying from the beginning, this is the sexual exploitation of America. This is what we're talking yeah, about. Like the, we're talking, the, the, to, listen, the, we're talking about the influencers, the people that your daughter wants. So it would be okay for your daughter to go to Dubai and let some man shit in her mouth for money or piss in her mouth. None Gregory, of this you're nothing. talking about morals, Gregory. You're talking, you getting this wire twisted, kid. That's what you're this talking whole thing morals. Is. It's not, no, 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 no. When you talking exploitation, you're saying, look what the countries do in taboo behind the scenes, and look how their culture get down. That's exploitation. When you're talking morals, then you're talking about upbringing. You're talking about raising. You're talking household and all that stuff. You can't intertwine the, the two in the sense of, because if you, when you do that, now you're talking we should be Russia. How? Now you're talking if, we if, should if be you're China. being influenced by somebody that. in your upbringing, no. like anybody else in this world, in America, because this is, we're talking about America. You're influenced by these influencers. Rather they be rather they be movie stars, rather they be rappers, rather they be somebody that's on TV that's a, a TV person. That's America's okay. culture. So, that's America's culture. So so basically with with, with Jesus, It can't be different. It's Jesus the breaking said, of your please. moral compass. With and if people don't understand it's that, broken. Hey, frankly, you ever study the 60s? You ever study free love? You ever study when John Lennon and his girl was staying in the bed? They said well, they, they would not get out the bed until the war ends. Have you ever studied what was going on with the hippies? What are we talking about right now? This been started. Okay, moral compass started in the 60s when so it was the hippies, I mean, in the, yeah, in the look 60s. At, when it's broken. You look at the hippies, it right? Was in the 60s. Listen, in listen the 60s. to what I'm about to say about the hippies' parents. The hippies' parents hated them. And this is true. You can go what? back and look this up. They what? hated them. They hated them because they were trying to indoctrinate everybody. Hey guys, I think you guys is getting off the point. The point was the video was these people. I, I've been using the hippie as hey, an example. Don't, don't do that. Don't do of, that. Of the, of the the sexual culture. That's what but, you were talking a, about. The to, hippie. Hey, let's bring it back to what we're talking back about today, back. though. Let's bring so it back to what we're that, talking about. Let's bring it back to what we're talking about. Y'all getting off the point. The point is the video was showing that these people was receiving contracts to go over there to have people poop and pee in their mouth. That's let's keep it to that. Because y'all are y'all taking it somewhere else. That's we're not talking about what Gregory's telling you is it's not morally right. That's what he's saying. Do you believe that it's morally right? For this to be glorified, popular, um, that for this to be a thing at all, for that's, this, that's, that's what that's what he's saying. He's not that's asking in you American call. society because this is the you Americans call. going over to the guy and doing this stuff. They're the influencers of the world. The hold American. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know hold what? On, hold on. Go ahead, Patsy. My thing is, it's like okay, with. The upbringing that my mother raised me, um, so I, I went off on, on what Apple was saying, like with your morals and how you upbringing. Okay, as an individual, as an adult, even when I was a teenager, when I was looking at different things and and in and, and, and the public eye on influences like singers, TV shows. I can choose to take, leave or take uh, whatever I saw on TV, heard on um, the radio or whatever. Because my mother taught me right, I'm going to choose what is going to be right for me. 
And if, you know, with the, the kind of respect that my mother influenced on me with having respect for myself, I'm not going to sign a contract for you or anybody else that, that's trying to entice me to go to a yard out the country, Dubai or wherever, so you could piss and shit in my damn mouth. Hell no, that ain't happening. Y'all, are, I'm not agreeing to that. And, and I'm talking. sorry, App. You moved me away from the point. My whole point about that was this is actually a term called a Dubai porta party. And then they called the act of doing it a Dubai uh, porta party party. So and let's just stick to hey, that. Let's just hey, stick to that. Hey, hey, hey Gregory. Hey, Gregory. Hey, Gregory. What I'm saying to you, kid, right? When it comes to the real world, which is the five continents, not the Western world, they got weird stuff there from Germany on. Saudi Arabia is still doing sex trades. They're still doing slavery up to this day. It's weird stuff going on. So when it comes to the United States of America or Canada or South America, usually the United States of America, it's just mainly in this. I'm not, I'm not diminishing when I say it's just. It's really just marketing. Marketing to keep a country going. And because it's marketing to keep a country going, that means you're living in a capitalized country, number one. And number two, this is the culture that they're using to build up this type of mentality. Is it morally wrong? Of course it is. Charge it to sin. But so is every other country. Only thing I'm just, just saying, when it comes to the sexuality, we're, not, we're, we're, we're babies compared to Germany. And like you say in Dubai, yes, but they're getting paid for it. There's, there's places in those countries, these girls are not even getting paid and they have to do that. So that's the part that when I'm saying when it comes to sexual exploitation, what we're doing over here is play play compared to with the rawness that's going on over there in Russia. The rawness that's going over there in Vietnam. The rawness that's going on over there. But when that it comes doesn't to make any it Filipino any lives. less any less bad is what I'm saying. If we can catch it here before it gets to the rawness that you're talking about in other countries, it would be a good you thing. That's the because, point of me having this conversation with y'all. I hear you. I hear you. But we, see, the train already left the station since the 60s. Only thing you no, can do... No, but we got to get a hold of the train. Hold on. The train might be hold running on, wild, hold but on, somebody got to can take, can take uh, control. Uh, hold on, kid. Hold on, kid. The only thing you can do... If you want to talking about um um this, the best thing to do is raise your household the best way against the culture. And this is no, where belief that's not how it works because that's what we've been doing for years, and oh, wow. that doesn't work that way. Otherwise, that we're because keep, it's been doing. We're gonna keep getting the political it, penis. Um, it's still going. That go ahead, Dave. So let me say this because we're running out of time, gentlemen, ladies, and gentlemen. Um. I mean, Paz is the only one that basically answered the question. Um, Tanya, you still with us? Yeah. Tanya? Yeah. Still with us? Maria, you still with us? Mm hmm. Maria? Auntie isn't with us. We you got Tanya, see? my mother. All right. So, this is what I want to do for time's sake. You guys seen the video. These women are being contracted. The American women are being influenced to do it. They're making a choice if they want to do it or not. The question is, would you do it for the amount of money? The $20,000 is the contract. I guess they're going to fly you out. They're going to um, have you partake in that. And um, they're going to pay you. And they're going to fly you back. Is there any amount of money that would... Um, influence you or convince you to do so, to do with what they're talking about, allowing the guy to poop and pee in your mouth? That's the question. Tanya. No. Why? Because she said no. Timmy! <laughs> they, Timmy answered it for me. It's, it's no. Why would I want to let somebody shit and piss in my mouth? No. So that, so no amount of money. That's it. No right? amount of money. Okay. Josie. Can't do it, no way. Don't ask me, please, not today or tomorrow. Okay, now those are the ladies. Maria's not with us no more. Patsy already answered the question. Hey, now, hey hold on, check it out. But say you was living, 
Wait. Say you what? live been in a poor country and you had to feed your family and then here you get these people got a they got an application saying you can come to Dubai and you can get this amount of money and then you know you don't just feed your family you feed your whole you know what I'm saying to your whole damn your whole tribe you mean to tell me people like that won't go out there and do that females <laughs> we're not talking about them I'm talking not, about me not, I would not we're not freaking do that in America exactly we're not another Third world country where we have to do that. We're in this country where we have the choice and the right to say no. Yeah, okay. Wow. And that being said, <laughs> the women wow. said no. So I'm going to ask the guys because you guys have been very vocal all night long. So same question. Um, if you received a contract to go to another country to allow, uh, let's say a man or a woman, to poop and pee in your mouth, um, is there any amount of money that will convince you to do um to do so? And I just I just want to know. I want a simple answer. I'm gonna go to um Timmy first, then Elijah, then Sean, then Robin. Timmy, now you're gonna get quiet. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, Elijah. <laughs> Elijah. <laughs> Elijah. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. You, What's up? So the question is, would you, for any amount of money, no, be contracted to allow no, a woman? no, no, that's, no. Your, that's your answer. All right, that's my answer. Sean. No, wow, sir. you trying to tell me that if you was living in a third <laughs> country, <laughs> you wouldn't do that. Exactly. I'm going to tell you, I wasn't going to say it, but you did it. Go ahead, Sean. Go oh, ahead, boy, I don't see, I don't see, I don't see. No, 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 no. Y'all on it tonight. Go ahead, Sean. Go ahead, Sean. No, 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 Mm. Gregory? Hell no, that just sounds disturbing, B. <laughs> okay, so Robert. Another one. Yeah, he done went silent another on you. Another one. All right. uh -huh. so, so basically, ladies and gentlemen, we have talked about the levels of perversions that are taking place um, within our society and beyond. Hello, sorry. I knew you was going to do that because that's all the viewers do. that watched this still a man Ignorant. episode tonight. It was based around golden showers and scat powdering. Um, If you are desperate in uh. need of these things, you can find one in your nearest gutter depot. My answer is no. Hmm. And with that being said, I'm just going to end the show.